So this is the 360 camera that we use for most of our shoots. And it's made up of um, six GoPro HD uh, black pluses uh, in a ball. And it's in a 3D printed frame. And the, the idea is to get the cameras as close together as possible. The closer together they are, the easier it is for us to get all the videos to stitch together into a final 360 panoramic video. So, yeah, we literally just attach this to whatever we're filming. If it's an F1 car, then we put it on a special suction mount. Or if it's on a base jumper, then we, we literally screw it into a chest mount or a head mount and set the cameras rolling. The cameras tend to kind of drift, drift out of synchronization throughout, throughout filming. So we have to very carefully line up each individual frame, 48 frames a second, to make thousands of panoramas, and that makes the final video. The reason the Oculus Rift has come now is because phones and tablets have become cheap enough and are produced on a large enough scale for the parts for an Oculus Rift to actually make sense as a commercial model. Um, you know, they've got phone gyros in them, tablet screens, that's how they're made. They're just cobbled together from these kind of parts. So now that you've got all of that, and you've got a whole industry already producing 360 video and 360 stills and game content, it's just all perfect timing and it all works together. The Oculus Rift is not commercial, commercially available yet. We're hoping that it'll be sometime in the late summer, although we're all kept in the dark a bit.